Hello everybody, and welcome back to Goodbye to Ponya, or welcome to Ponya, whichever you want to come or go. I hope you stay though for the episode. So, last time, we kind of rushed through the uh, therapist, and that's because I didn't want the episode to go on too long, which it already went on a little long. We have some other stuff we can interact with. Can I, uh... If my name were Urkel, I could stamp my initials Urkel. all over the place now. Too bad. Mm. Okay. We got lots of weird stuff. Like, lots of weird stuff. Okay. So. I need another therapy session. What? Again? Yeah, again. You know. You get paid anyway. Fine. Let's get it over with. Yes. I'm as pleased about this as you are. But th this is not really about me. It's about my friends. Mm -hmm. Are you quite sure about that? Couldn't it be that this is primarily about you after all? No, I'm not redirecting. You're ashamed of, you know. Wow, you're good. Everyone else always asks like there's something wrong with that. <laughs> hmm. I'm not here just to chat with you, actually. You're inspecting results. That's quite normal. If you have a hard mm. time talking about your problems, we can begin with something else. Hmm. How about a Rorschach test? Oh, I love those. What? You're going to lock me up in a shack? With a lion? Uh, Inkblot test. It's an association game with cards. Oh, a card game. <laughs> Fine with me, but don't get your hopes up. I always win at cards because I'm the coolest guy there is. Much more so than my father, for example. Uh, Which is dead now, if thankfully. You say so, let's get started then. Penis! <laughs> so, I mean, I'm ready. <laughs> so, what do you see in this picture? Yeah, I figured that as much. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Elysium taking off towards Utopia. And that does not worry you? You know the rumors about the Elysians giving the order to blow up Deponia, right? <laughs> Do I know them? <laughs> I started them. Uh, oh. I see. Perhaps I should, that's you true. should proceed with the next picture. Yes. What do you see here? A pig skull. Hmm. A gorgeous butterfly. Eh. Maybe if he moves his fingers and there were lines here. A lovely glitter elf. A cute birdie. I could see a birdie. Huh, a cute little birdie. You what? A birdie. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Oh, adorable. Uh, I see. Was that wrong? In that case, I would like to use my lifeline. This is not about being right or wrong. It's just that most people see something different in this picture. <laughs> most people are idiots. They wouldn't know a birdie if it crawled up their butt. I like that answer. Interesting. Let's look at the next picture. What do you see here? Hmm. That's me saving the world. I see a great hero myself. Ah, it's a picture of the front page as man of the year. I like the answer. Ah, that's my picture on the front page as man of the year. Please be serious, will you? Hey, what do you mean? You're the one with the funny glasses. Right, that's it. If you prefer goofing off instead of giving me some serious answers, then you've come to the wrong person. Hmm. But I only told you what I saw. In that case, you should definitely leave. There is no therapy here for people like you. Ugh. Maybe you should consult an exorcist instead. And yeah, there's a demon right in front of me. Far away. <sighs> I need another therapy. What? Yes, again. Uh, hmm. Can't you just write me a prescription of some kind? Oh, really, all this is taking much too long. While we're chewing the fat here, Part of me is already halfway to Elysium, while the other part is still roaming the sewers. Bravo! That was a very figurative and extremely precise piece of self-analysis. Uh -huh. You are making enormous progress. The last thing I want to do now is put you on medication. That That's seems like right. your first choice, usually. Oh, come on. 
Just give me a few offers and we're done. Mm -mm. That is out of the question. First, I need to learn more about your case. Then I will decide whether some kind of drug therapy seems appropriate. Oh yeah? Therapy. If you're that keen on seeming appropriate, why are you wearing those pants? Rufus. Alright, let's play the card game again. Can we play that? You mean you all right? This time I'm gonna... Alright, so... So, what do you see in... Let's try this. Elysium, majestically enthroned, high above Deponia. Well, we've already been through that. Something quite similar, at least. Next picture, then? Yeah. What do you see here? Let's try this one. A gorgeous butterfly. So you really don't see anything else here? But that is something completely different. Yes, true, but uh, no matter. Let's move on. And now this one. What do you see here? I think we have to... It's either like this or we have to do this. That's me saving the world. So you really don't see anything else here? But that is something completely different. Yes, true, but uh, no matter. So is that two wrong answers right. then? That's it. If you prefer goofing on the okay. method, maybe okay. you should consult an... Yes, yes, yes. I'll I exercise your demons. Uh, Alright, card game. So... Majestically... Well, next picture. Yes. What do you see? Ah, uh, a lovely glitter elf. So you really don't... But that is something. Yeah. Uh, no, let's move. What do you... Hmm. I see a great hero. Myself. So you really... But that is... Yeah. Uh, no. And you're gonna do that right. again. That's it. If yeah, you prefer yeah, yeah. goofing off instead of giving this... Okay. All right. Let's go back, and then let's go over here, and let's finger focus. I have curiosity. Whoa. Whoa. It's really... Oh. I can't look everywhere. I can only look on Rufus. Interesting. But I can't look over there. <laughs> it's really weird. Hey, there's something moving there. Isn't that... <gasps> of course. That baby bozo in great danger. I have to tell Barry about it. Barry. Oh, Barry. Barry boy. Out of curiosity, can I... It's either this... Hmm. I have three ideas. So this, which is probably the wrong answer. What's that you've got? I have a, a, a randomly chosen item from my inventory. True. I'm not interested. We're on an important mission right now. Such as? Okay. Don't want to talk about it? Fine. Fine. I'll just keep pressing the issue. I have a letter for you. From Bozo? Uh, exactly. I don't have any time for sentimentality. What? We're on an important mission right now. The human heart is one of the most important missions ever. Alright. What's that you've got? I have a... a, a and I'm not in... Oh, okay. In I was curious. I don't think any of these are important to this, so let's leave. Hmm. Let's go tell Barry. Wrong place. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's tell Barry. Barry, my boy. We've got a baby on the loose. Good news. I have a subject. Really? What is it? Come on. I'll show you. Oh dear. That's terribly high. Ah, stop whining and keep your camera ready. Because what I'm about to do, I'm only going to do once, unless the picture isn't any good. And then we'll do it again. Oh god, Rufus. This is bad. This is not. This isn't good. Pay close attention. I'll try. If only I had a head for heights. <laughs> oh man, Barry. You are such a dope. All right. I only have this one chance to rescue baby Bozo. I hope he doesn't screw it up. It would seem so. This is probably where the construction workers hang their hats. Well, let's see. We have the antenna. 
<laughs> I'm not really uh, hooked on that idea. Clever. Yeah, you know, at home with the bozo, that would have been a real knee slap. Yeah. Yerk, as in... What if I... Yeah, I don't think he'll go for that. Okay. So what else? I probably can't just climb on that. Yep. Okay. And then what if I... What if I... Ah! Um. Yeah, you know, at home with them. Um. Hey. Okay. All right. All right. What if I? So what will he go for? Oh, you know what? Hmm. What about this? Will he go for that? Well, does baby Bozo want his stupid baby phone back? Aww. Hey! Okay, what if I give you the letter? Okay. Mail? What about this? Okay. I doubt this will be it. No. I can't even paper him. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I can build a platypus net again, but I hate to repeat myself. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Repeat myself. It would seem so. Hmm. The reception is okay, but I'm absolutely certain on this frequency, oh, I'll get it some idiotic ham radio operator. Hello? Zombie apocalypse. That was awesome. That was real awesome. Okay, um... It won't have any lasting negative effects, I'm sure. Um... Hmm... So we have the hook. Um... Well, this kind of looks like it can be hung up from that. Other than that, I don't think we have the necessary tools to deal with this, but I don't know how we would get back here as well. Huh. I'm not really uh, hooked on that idea. Okay. You know, I'm home with the bozo. Can I talk to Barry? Close at the no, okay. <laughs> Alright, see you, Barry. See you, baby bozo. Somehow that wasn't all that. Just wait and see. I wanted to check the lay of the land. It would seem so. All right. So, hmm. It's ruined settlement. Out of curiosity, can I get another lollipop? I'm definitely not going to be bad enough for the hedge of interest. Okay. Can May I talk I to the mooks? For a moment? Huh? That's his woman. That's not baby Bozo. Is it now? Because you're old uh, and she's I hate to not. interrupt you, but, uh... Yeah? I'm not a hobo. I'm not a hobo. I'm just a bow. See, Luke? I told you he's not a hobo. So? Back then, you also said it's not gangrene. We could have saved that leg, you know. Poor Timmy. Oh. So what are you doing in the middle of a war zone? What out are of curiosity? you doing here in the middle of a war zone? Don't you know what's going on around you? Are you still talking to that hobo woman? I'll talk to whoever I please. What does he want? He wants to know what's going on here. Well, tell him that nothing's happening here at all these days. At least not since the Algonons retreated. 
You can tell him that yourself. I'm not your secretary, you know. Hmm. Have you lived next to the bozos for a long time? Why? Isn't this one good enough for you? It may have suffered a little grenade damage here and there, Whoa. but it's still our home. Calm yourself, Mook. He's asking about the bozos. Well, in that case, he's wrong here. They live next door. Ah, oh, dealing with elders is such a, a treat. You know what's up with Bozo? Oh, so you're a friend of Bozo? Yeah. Nonsense, woman. Bozo would never be friends with some random hobo. That's because, unlike you, he had the handful of brain cells left. Even if he doesn't act the part at the moment. He's depressed, Mook. Okay. Oh, of course he is. He's got no job, no girlfriend. The world is coming to an end. So what? He does so have a girlfriend. Her name is Bambina, and she lives in the floating black market. She contradicts him as often as you do to me. I can surely understand why he moved back here with his folks. Uh, 50-50. Yeah, I'm looking for the resistance camp. Tell him we're not buying anything. The young man is looking for something, Mook. And so he asks you of all people. Mm. You never know where you put anything. Nah, at least I still have my manners. Oh, That's if you true. really had any manners, you'd take care of your guests. No, the hobo. I almost forgot about him. Tell him that if he absolutely must go around panhandling, he should try the resistance instead. Their camp is just down the stairs and across the square after all. Thank Those you. people at least know how to keep order. It would seem so. All right. Do you even get what I'm saying? Fine, right? Nonsense, woman. It's at least seven. I was going to say eleven. <laughs> what do you know? You haven't got a clue what this is about. Then why don't you ask your good buddy, the hobo? He seems to have an answer for everything. Ah, rubbish. He's not even talking. That's because you won't let him get a word in edgewise. Look, he's trying to say something. Again. Hobo away. Ah, just forget it. This is too crazy, even for me. I'm leaving. Adios. You know, I think you were right, Moo. He was a hobo after all. That's what I said, woman. But you never listened to me. Alright, so. Let's see if we can speak to Bozo. And let's see if... Actually, can I just put stuff in there? No, okay. Alright, let's see if we can talk to Bozo. Um, can I just tell you about Bambina? Come on, get up. You need to vouch for me so they'll let me see the new general of the resistance. Go away. But I don't want to. Bozo. Hmm. Have you seen this flyer? So this way is usually the best. Yep. But in this case, I'm not sure about that. It would get results. All right. Now let's lay down some rules. I am not going to wipe your butt, okay? Wipe. Hmm. Hey, Bozo, say, Urk. Mm. Yeah, close enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know what? At the moment, his ability to work is extremely limited. He's just lolling about. Staring at nothing, mumbling, unintelligible drivel. He might as well be a games writer. Ooh. Shots fired from within. I would draw a beard on him, but he's already got one. Hmm. I just can't connect to him right now. Out of curiosity. No worries. I'm going to take care of your baby brother. No, oh, don't panic. I'm good with children. I'm going to, for instance. Mm hmm. <laughs> Oh, come on. Baby Bozo is much... Yeah, I have no idea. Alright. Let's see. Can I connect with you? Oh, what have you there? Ah, you're a tinkerer, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. I like men who are skilled with their hands. Bozo was worthless when it came to that. Oh. Interesting. All right. 
How have I seen you on the cover of a fashion magazine? Oh, Rufus, you flatterer. You certainly know how to cheer up a grieving woman. Oh, if only I were a little younger. For what? <laughs> what about this? How have I seen you on the cover? Oh, you said, oh. And that's it. Okay. The future, at least not on this piece of paper. All right. Why would Baby Bozo need a radio? He can't even talk. Let me ask you. Okay. He answers. Okay. I don't get it. Um. Hmm. I don't see yeah, you. I figured that would happen. Okay. What about this? What have you there? A sign for you. He was all along. Hmm, and there's nothing else to take in here. And the mailman probably won't have any more information. What are you doing here? Oh, just yeah, I figured as much. Hmm. Can I do this? Would you be interested in a new job? Not really. No, thanks. I'm kind of stuck in my present position. I figured. Okay. Hmm. I don't think any of this stuff will work with them. I guess I could try the letter on the grandpa. Okay. I could try the letter on the mailman. Where did you get that? Postal secret. All right. Rufus away. I could try things with them, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think we need to do something with Sewer Rufus, but what is the question? I can't Here take these go. guys. Oh, I can? Oh, okay. Here we go. <gasps> Yikes! Not so loud. Don't wake up the danger. Okay, can I give the pacifier to go? That should shut her up for now. Okay. Can I now take the Here crevice? We go. <gasps> hmm, feels like there's more back there. I feel a draft, and the air is. Okay, can I pull on this Here branch, which is probably <clears throat> a light yeah. switch? No. Hmm, this is dry, long, and thin. No doubt about it. It's the plot of Secret Files to the Scout. Interesting. Or a low-hanging branch, either one. Kind of looks like a shotgun shell, or a firecracker. All right. What about this brush? Here we go. <gasps> I got it. Okay. Some kind of moss or brush. Can I combine them? I seem to be stumbling about in the dark. It'll be hard to get ahead without a little light. Can I? Well, what is? Hmm, no. All right. So let's try the branch on the crevice. I'll the stick in this crevice. I might be able to light a fire. All I need is a little kindling. Okay, so I need to use the brush on the crevice first. There, the kindling is stuck in the crevice. And now... Alright. Hey, sure! I can light a fire this way! Oh, look at her eyes. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Success! Is there anything I can't set on fire? Say something, Goal! <laughs> Goal! Uh-oh... <laughs> Bug butts. Well, at least we're live. Very funny. Just so you know, that was all part of the plan. And anyway, we have more important things to do now. We have to find that what's it acid and, and turn you back into a real person. Okay. So now we have Goalie. She's alive. That's the most important thing. Thankfully. Once you're big again, 
I will never kill you, chop you in thirds, or turn you into an infant again. I promise. <laughs> oh, golly. Yeah, we're gonna owe you the rest of our life. That's what I like about you. Well, she is quite forgiving. So we have a turnstile. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Before I shine a light into the darkness there, always keep yourself between me and the man-eating monsters. We don't want anything to happen to me, after all. Rufus. <laughs> I can't believe how stupid those organons are. <laughs> Oh. And now, after the unparalleled success of Look at Me, we are pleased to be able to present you with the first exclusive preview of his new single. Here, for your listening pleasure, comes Cowboy Dodo. And look around! Oh no, not the B side, too. Interesting. <laughs> Wow, you just can't get your eyes off me, can you? It's that very Yuki Terry show is over, I'm a venue, don't you ever have to blank water? You some kind of guppy, why don't you just watch a bunny, I'm a vigil with a puppy. Look, done once if you get it, now we've done enough already, I'll just stroll off somewhere else, and you stay here nice and steady, right? Oh well, it's no better, what's the matter? I'm a bolding, is a bogey, I'm a no say what the thing you are beholding, man, you stare at me as if there was just rubbish on the telly, and I can't even blame you, for I also have a belly full of living here, where all you see is lamp full of litter. I hope I eat the pony, or I know it may sound bitter, but somewhere up Elysium is bound to be found you just facing the wrong way so turn around didn't we agree nothing here for you to see now get lost never be found just look around got a stiff neck maybe whiplash wearing blinkers got your hip flash out your death i got found mine look around listen to the cowboy dodo cowboy dodo look around look around Okay. Well, that went perfectly well. Hello. It's worse than I feared. Are you my daddy? Uh, maybe. I hope not. And, and if I am, then you must take after your mother. I'm Rufus. Please excuse my sister's lack of restraint. She's just glad that we finally found a grown up. I'm Rusty, that's Gretchen, and our little brother is called Hansel. The soda straw is called Hansel? <laughs> your parents were real sadists, I guess. Well, put it this way, they abandoned us down here in the sewers. We've been stumbling around in the dark by ourselves for quite a while. Could you maybe help us? Of course I could, but I don't want to. Beat Rufus. It. That isn't the proper reaction. As a grown-up, you have a responsibility to help poor children in need. True. I've already got one ankle biter around my neck. Help yourselves. Shoo! Well, I mean, we all stumble around in the darkness for most of our lives. So, Hansel. Sit. Stay. Hey, just stop that. We aren't dogs. Yeah, you can say that again. Dogs are intelligent and able to follow simple commands. People aren't. What a fine mess I got myself into. What is that? I saw something moving there. Oh! It's just bugs. Lovely. Okay. Um, what a Gretchen? a fine mess I got myself into. Oh! Hansel and Gretchen. No, I'm guessing Rusty after the Rusty Axe. A fine mess. Um, hello. Stay. Hey, we are yeah, You dogs are in. Okay, so it's basically Sit. the same. Okay, Stay. I figured as much. Sit. Hey, just no. <laughs> so I say it to her too. Okay. All right, what's this way? The city. Hey, oh. didn't I tell you not to come toddling after me? I am on a dangerous adventure. But we need your help. Yeah, and I told you, this is not for children. You could wind up in a plasma skirmish. True. Or be eaten right here on the spot by that witch. She looks very hungry. Well, I never. I won't stand for such insinuations. I do not eat children. Why not? Oh, yeah. Then what are you doing here? I collect old bottles and sell them to the sewers in. All right. There's a pub down here? Excellent! I could really... Wait a second. You wouldn't happen to have found a container with a green liquid in it? Yes. And oh. I got the buy 
five slotties for it. Fantastic. You see, Gold, I told you I'd rescue you. <sighs> yeah, that's Babble Paddle. Alright. I want to catch that bug. Mm. Oh. A mimicry platypus. Interesting. Alas. What cruel fate drove this wretched creature down into the sewers? It's cold, wet, and filthy, and there are creepy witches around, like that one. Poor, poor Rufus. Nice, Rufus. Hello again, unfair lady. Ah, the young father is back. I already told you, they aren't mine. They seem to think otherwise. Yeah, but I, I didn't sign up for this. Oh, I believe you. If you want some good advice, yes. Mama Cosima's hand crochet johnnies are extremely tear resistant. Okay. You know, her face reminds me of that of a brontosaurus. Where did you get the again? I sold it to the sewers in for the five slotties. Leaf says it's some kind of super fertilizer. Oh, no. But it was my super fertilizer. How was I supposed to know that? After all, decent fertilizer gets flushed into the sewers all the time. And it's rather unusual for people to come by later and lay claim to it. I don't blame you. Where's the exit? From the sewers, there isn't one. <laughs> okay. Those who wind up down here are damned to remain here forever. Forever! Forever! Yeah! <laughs> That's a pretty good laugh. You know, you're laying it on kind of thick for someone who isn't a witch. Sorry, ever since I stopped taking the pill, I've had these strange mood swings. It's okay. I give you about 8 out of 10 for evil laughs. What was that? I just noticed. I saw it before, I just didn't get a good glimpse of it like there. So you have five Zlotties? Yes, all five. Huh? There isn't a lot of money here in the sewers. To be more precise, there are exactly... Five oh. Zlotties, and at the moment, they belong to me. Hmm. So it's a Sound trade like economy. A very manageable, stable currency system. It was, until hedge funds and speculation in the financial markets led to massive deficits in current accounts. Oh, I hate that. Uh, yeah, sure, I, I, I see. Hmm. Alright, I'll go. see you. But why? We were just having fun, and uh, wait a moment. Did the water here just get warmer? Like I said, I've got to go. Ciao! Rufus. Okay, we have some mushrooms, and mushrooms, and mushrooms. Whoa. <laughs> Ouch. Huh. Okay. What about this mushroom? Same response? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Ouch. I didn't expect that. Let's try this one since it's on the way. Oh, Dark Souls. That one's straight up Dark Souls. Thank you, children, for moving out of the way so I could be damaged. Oh. Lovely. Okay. And that's all? Magic Mushroom Picker, yes. So we have a leper colony. Ooh, joy. And the lantern. It's a whole new world down here. Why doesn't everybody go down into the sewers? With the gaggle of children. Ah, oh, that's the lantern. Okay. Okay. And I can't go just up. We have a window. It's a nice day outside, and I'm hanging out in the sewer. This one. Alright, so let's check here. So what happened to Rufus here? Right. Oops. Hello. We caught another rebel. Another one. Oh, but that's the same one again. He must have escaped somehow. Huh? But I've never been here before. Uh, Very funny. Move. Lock him up in his cell again. I see. I wonder what that is on the bed. Yes. 
Hello, Cletus. No, wait. You're one of my clones, right? Cleverly disguised as Cletus. Oh, please. Don't tell me there's more than one of you now. Yep. <laughs> Very good. You got your role as a sleazy dimwit down pat. Ugh. Yeah. What do you care? So, if you are me, how were they able to capture you? Same as you, I suppose. Yeah. The way they captured me was much cooler. And I've already got a plan how we can get out of here. You can spare yourself the effort. I tried everything. Yeah, maybe. But I have a bunch of new tricks up my sleeve that you don't even know. Hey, even though we're the same person. Yeah. Exactly. Watch and learn. All right. Can I just pull this out? So obviously this is Rufus. Costume isn't half bad. I almost fell for it myself. Yes, obviously. And what about your oh-so-brilliant rescue operation? Just relax. I'll get us out of here in no time. Do I have any inventory? No, I don't. And I have the rug. A rug in a prison cell? How deeply can you get? And that's that. <laughs> well, great. We... Well, I guess I could just uh, talk to the cell guard. I'm in the blind spot. That's good. Alright. Hey, hello? You who? What do you want? Stop making such a racket in there. Hmm. Oh, obviously, if we ask him to let us out of here, he'll just let us out. Let me out of here. Forget it. What? You can't do that. I'm playing by the rules. I'm not feeling so well. <laughs> I think I'm getting sick. No, I don't care. As long as you don't barf on the rug. Okay, we can definitely barf on the rug. I demand a clean cell. This is a clean cell, and I'm very proud to say so. We have all the latest cleaning technology. That's the right. The are lit free. And the toilet fresheners are dirt repellent. And I shampooed the rug earlier today. Wow. Life in the service of the Organon gets pretty boring, huh? Oh, you have no idea. I feel so sorry for you. Yeah, I want to talk to my lawyer. Who's your lawyer? Well, uh, actually, I, I was going to defend myself. Whatever you like. Then go ahead and talk to yourself. But no longer than ten minutes. Understood? Gotcha. Uh, I need the bathroom. Again? Fine. But this oh. time, don't use so much toilet paper. We've already cleared the store. Okay. Do you mean that if someone were to prevent the destruction of the planet, the Organon would be out of toilet paper? That would be correct, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Interesting. How's that for an incentive to save Deponia? I'm hungry. That's probably because you never touched your breakfast. Hang on, I'll open the food slot. Thank you, good sir. All right, I shan't uh, need to talk to you anymore. Then don't bother me. On your way. Now I have my breakfast. Let's have a look. Some salt, a pot, and a donut. A bagel and pepper. What? No jam. That's a violation of the Geneva Convention. If you see, you don't know what that is. Ooh, and a urinal and cake for uh, breakfast as well. Freshener. Wasn't very smart of the Organon to provide me with this essential gem of chemical warfare. Okay. And we have some toothpaste and a toothbrush. Alright. Long time now see. Very true. Very true. Now, what can we combine? Huh. Toothpaste and a toilet freshener. Wasn't there something... Yeah, about not combining them. Uh, the toilet freshener leaves stains. I better keep it away from the other stuff. Okay. It's a lousy substitute for cream cheese, but it'll have to do. Go figure. <laughs> Inspired recipe. This prison food is an affront. I mean, who likes sesame? Can I combine these two? Oh. This prison. I mean, who? All right. This prison. I mean, who? Okay, hold on. This prison. Okay. I mean, here you go. Obviously, Rufus. Some food. This is all part of my escape plan. A bagel? What are you going to do with that? Feed escape you. through the hole? You know you'd never fit, right? Just wait and see. I'm going to take a holistic approach. Ooh, clever. 
But okay. When I eat this bagel, I'm gonna leave crumbs all over the rug. That'll teach them to aggravate the likes of Rufus. This will go well. Can I combine the toothpaste with this? Okay. Oh joy. This prison. I mean, this prison. I mean. Okay. Can I feed it to you now? All right. All right. Let me just um. When I eat this bagel, that'll be. No. Okay. Hey. Hello. What is it now? Yeah. Please don't get me wrong, but this food is inedible. Well, that's all you're getting. That's an outrage. I want to complain to the chef right now. All right. We'll be quick about it. All right. Oh. Okay. And what did he say? He apologized and showed me around the kitchen. I had no idea how hard it is to prepare food for prisoners. <laughs> Let me tell you. Yes, Rufus. I hate you. <laughs> food inspector. Nice. All right. Can I brush your teeth? They're so white. I brush them. Seriously? You, you're taking that disguise a little too far. Very true. Can I? Oh yeah. Hi, boss. You old dirtbag, you. Nice to see you again. Oh. Is that a way to greet an old buddy? I'm sorry, Tidy Bot. I'd really love to have one of those as a pet. It's cute. And instead of making a mess, it cleans everything up. Interesting, that sounds like the exact same one from earlier. Hey, yeah, you're cute. Neato. Alright, um, so Tidy Bot, I got this for you. Hey, tidy bot. All sh Neato. Or can I just throw it on the rug? When I eat this, that'll be Hmm. Um, can I brush your teeth then, hey, Tidy Bot? Neato. Hmm. Everything here is good thing too. At least they won't force me to scrub the cell. Okay. I hmm. Hey, tidy box. Need. Well. Oh, we have a dust bag. I used to scare Tony with these things. It's even more fun if you suck up some spider web first. Nice, Rufus. Well, now I have some dust. <laughs> <laughs> dust. As if I didn't have enough of that in my coat. I love it when he does that. Okay. Yep. Everything you want to eat. When I eat this, they battle teeth. Or do I feed them? What is that supposed to be? Your breakfast. Cletus. <laughs> it's our ticket to freedom. You will eat this slightly adulterated bagel and then pretend to be sick, which should come naturally. And when they take you to sick bay, I will come forth from my hiding place and save us over my dead body. You Maybe. will eat the bagel and I. Yeah, actually, why not? I'm kind of hungry anyway. No, wait, was that a trick? Just so you could have my food, you rotter. I'm on to you. Give me that bagel. Nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm feeling a little... I think I'm going to... <laughs> See, Cletus was green all along. <laughs> what have you done, you idiot? You poisoned me! <laughs> Bravo! Very convincing. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> but uh, Seth, no, it's you not in him anymore. Not acting for the guard, especially your complexion. It's, it's really good. All right. So. <laughs> okay. You who? I feel silly. Is that supposed to be me? Who else? It's pretty good, I actually. Oh, trust me, I'm an excellent voice impersonator. He's pretty good, actually, what? as oh, pretending to be you. Now? If you keep bothering me, I will... What the... You, toe rag! What have you done to my nice rug? Off with you to sit bay right now! Whoop. Damn! Now I have to air out the cell! All right. <laughs> Nicely done. Too bad there wasn't a big chase sequence on jet skis, though. 
Oh, Rufus, you got it done. That's what matters. Wait. Platypus eggs. Oh. No. Okay. Aww. Sandbot? I like that I can look at, like, look at his name, but I can't interact with him at all. Not even look at him. Doesn't look like the resistance is giving the organ a hard time. It would seem so. Boom! Yeah, sleeping like a baby, which is actually a good thing. We have a closet, but we can't go into it. What about this, though? Pneumatic mail chute. I love pneumatic tube systems, even though they're not suitable for sending large amounts of bread, though. Mm. I can put a toothbrush in there. To send something through the tubes, I first need one of these handy capsules. Hmm. Can I just? Hey, we'll head back. So, can I just talk to you now? I'm up I here. Have so more to tell him. Just this. Farewell, you dunderhead. Okay. Unless he turns away like that. Interesting. So, my choices are kind of limited. Can I toothbrush you? I have nothing more to tell. Just this. Okay. Can I? Oh, okay. I thought this right here was a wall, and this was the door we had to open up to get through here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Ooh. Yeah. This doesn't make much sense if I haven't got the appropriate application form. Hmm. We have a crane and application forms. Application form 27 euros. Application for A. Medical assistance in case of job-related injuries induced by terminal maintenance work. Reference number Yurk 75. B. A screwdriver, sharp edged, to be used in terminal maintenance work. Reference number Hola 55. And C. A replacement lead type Yurk for defective application terminals. Reference number Yurk 122. Okay. Pretty simple stuff. This is all the same form. If I should need another. Okay. We have a door sensor. I guess the door only opens for the organon. Hmm. Can I just take off his face? No. Alright. What about the crawls? Wait, wait. No, Rufus! I wanted to look for platypus. Oh, the search for platypus goes on. And little beetle. Back we go. Let's see. I don't see one. Not yet. That looks like the railing for the, um... The lighthouse, if I recall. Interesting. Okay. So we can go over here. This oh. is still not fast enough, Open Boss. Ulysses must not get suspicious. I want to be there when he learns that the army he was going to blow up with this filthy planet is on board. Interesting. And will take over Elysium under my command. Ulysses isn't stupid, though. He's stupid enough to think that 11,000 Organons will just volunteer to die submissively. Yes, that is stupid. So, when am I getting my copy of the Ascension Rose? Don't be silly, Offenbot. You will stay here, of course. So that's what Argus was talking about. Huh. I never believed for a moment that he wanted to save the pony up to now. He's got the ascension codes. You know, we could all just live together. But now another you know. problem that I need to take care of later. Yes, as it would seem, Rufus. So we have the last high boat. There it is. The last high boat to Elysium. What a sight! We have Oppenbot. The Organon is already entering the high boat. I've got to hurry. Well, we have infinite amounts of time, Rufus, as this is a um a video game. Hope for. Oh. Am I intruding? Rufus, I'm overjoyed to see you. You had so just in time. And who have we here? Another fellow fighter in our battle against depression? Jish is Rufus. I told you about him. Wow, really? 
The Rufus? Yep. Now, if that isn't a good omen for our enterprise, I'm Cowboy Dodo. You may know me from the local radio. And here we have Cindy, Hottie, and Cutis. <laughs> he remembers our name. I don't want to miss a word. Okay, <sighs> listen up, everyone. I'm the head honcho around here, right? So, what do you want me to do? What's the big plan? We are directly above Bailey's Orbish's Elfish. Yes. We believe that the Ascension Church are even there. Therefore, we wanted to lower Cowboy Dodo on a rope, so he could get his hands on them. I understand. This is the usual policy. But I'm here now. So move aside and make room to me. Go figure. <laughs> I like this guy. Why don't we just take a vote? I'm for Rufus. <laughs> I'm for me too. Oy. I just don't know. No, let Cowboy Dodo do it. He's the best man for the job. Mm. He's the best man, period. And Janos votes for me, of course. Well, it's a draw then. But before we get into a fight over this, remember that manning the crank is also an important job. The crank? I'm not your crank aide. Forget it. I demand a new count. Something okay. is still missing in us. I'll be right back. Okay. So that's what we need to do. Ooh, pneumatic mail tube. Touch. <sighs> Screw down tight. It's impossible to open that pipeline without the right tool. Okay, so we need to screw it somehow. With a toothbrush. <laughs> Those who know me know how much I hate open ends. But I don't need one if I want to send something through the tubes. Okay. Alright. Well, in the next episode, we'll deal with Cowboy Dodo, the dastardly villain that has seemingly joined the Resistance. Deal with those marching men up there, and um, hopefully save Deponya. In the meantime, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, enjoy the series, or find something to enjoy, and have a lovely day. Goodbye, Deponya.